This is definitely a different case here. He's serious about wanting to potentially bite somebody. <laughs> This is so much more dangerous than just him not listening. And you're never going to get better if you keep doing that. We've just accomplished more with this dog and with you yeah. than you ever have in your entire life. Everything about him, like his eyes, his mouth, the way he's barking, the way he's lunging, the way his ears are. I mean, everything about his facial expression is pretty serious. So we're gonna let them go out to the play yard and just get some energy out. And that's what they need the most. This is gonna be probably the toughest behavioral case uh, in the out-of-state program out of the four. But right now, the most important thing is getting some energy out. And that's what we're letting him do. He's in our play yard. Um, and I'm gonna go over there and start to start to work the, the hopeful magic uh, that we're gonna try to do. But he's serious about it and he's big and she's nervous and she doesn't have much control and she's stressed and I would be too. Um, that's why I'm gonna have to do a lot of breathing with her as well because she's very nervous. Because the dog, you know, looks honestly kind of dangerous at this point. So this is gonna be a project. Make sure you guys watch till the end because this is gonna be a, a good one. We haven't seen one of these in a while. We'll just kind of do the introduction process right. out here. They said, you know, he has stranger danger. I assume that was possible, your possibility, whatever. Mm -hmm. When I went to do the meet and greet, he came right up to me, no hesitation, wagging. I was able to pet him, no problem. And she was like, well, you know, that's amazing because he always barks yeah. at people he doesn't know. So I was like, okay, I guess it was meant to be. And we got in the car and he was laying with the kids and he was licking the kids and he was so good with us. Very good in the house. He was very good with the listening. He picked up on the commands right away. Then all of a sudden we started having, you know, little by little having people come in the house. And that's when we realized that he just went crazy. Like okay. off the charts, what? like ridiculous without even knowing who these people were. And we started little by little backing up, okay. putting him on the leash whatever, and it's just been worse and worse. We sent him to a trainer for two weeks, supposedly it was a two week board and train. We dropped him off, the website was great. Turns out it wasn't great okay. at all. He came back injured. It just, I feel like it just made him actually more afraid of strangers. And then uh, someone said, well, what do you have somebody come into the house? Because the whole thing is coming into the house. I said, that makes a lot of sense. So we hired a behaviorist, girl so she never came near the dog she never touched the dog he sat at his place with his collar on mm -hmm. holding him he was trying to kill her the whole entire time she said don't put him on a prong collar just flat collar don't do prong collar I said this is gonna be such a nightmare she sat across the room in my living room for an hour every single time and threw hot dogs from across the room okay while he growled at her how do you feel like his obedience is when he gets in his like zone, try to do on your video, I saw, you know, try to redirect. Yeah. He, he, he's in the zone. Okay. It's, it's off the chart. So everyone usually- What about at home? He's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty good. You need to be the best leader you can for him to be confident with you. So he doesn't get protective and he doesn't get insecure and nervous. When you're saying things to him that he doesn't understand, he's just drowning you out. That's what ends up happening. I have kids for that. Yeah. So when you say, hey dog, I want you to do this, mm. you have to take it all the way. Don't say it over and over again because he'll pick up on that nervousness. I want okay? him to be as obedient as he is in the house when it's just us and he, go to your place, get right. down. Like, I want him to have all that. Like when people are yeah. around, there's no, there's, it's gone. But that's the difference between practice and the game. So that's what obedience is. And the reality so, kicked in. Yeah. So that just means that you don't have the foundation. I didn't have what I thought I had. Correct. Okay, sit, sit, sit. Try to one sit, not three. And then when he gets up, put him back into his sit. Sit. Pop, put a little pressure up. Sit. Good. So let's do that again. Heel. Come, come, come on. Does he have a heel command? Yeah. Let's just use, let's use that, sure. like the heel, you know? Heel. Good. Uh, uh. Heel, don't worry. And then sit. Sit. Good, sit, much better. So I think it's the voice. It's everything, so it's that too. So this is why he is the way he is, is that accountability. So heel him around again. Make sure that you hold him accountable for that sitting. Uh, heel, sit, down. See, and that's that constant push. So that's what I'm saying is we gotta focus on that. So 
and it, and it would be easier if I could help him. Uh, I know. But I don't want to overwhelm him. So when you're handling him, I want you to be relaxed with him, okay? Just, you're, he's with you, you're not with him. Right now, you, you're in fix it mode. You're, wait, you're anticipating him to make a mistake and you're waiting for it to happen and you're tense and you're waiting. So what you wanna do is put your shoulders straight and just walk forward and he's with you, okay? And when you stop, say his name, ask him to sit. What you did is you go, bam, sit. So you said, you're wrong, but do it. That's confusing. <laughs> Good, now look forward, there you go. He's with you, you're not with him. Cut him off with your leg, perfect. Keep walking, look forward, look forward, look forward. There, good. And stop. S-I-T. Sit. Good sit. Good and then sit. Say his name and tell him to down. Digger, down. Good down. Good down. Now just hold that for one second. Do you have a break command? Yeah. Okay, so free him, or break Okay, break. So let's try to put the muzzle on, see if I can work with okay. it. Okay. Okay. Is that peanut butter? No, it's not. Oops, it's upside down. Sorry. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Look what I got. Look, look what I got. See, I don't have the peanut butter on it, which is stupid because I don't want to get used to that. Just grab his collar and just see he's working you right now. When you're about to do something with a dog that might be like, mm, 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 just assertively do it. Just do it. Don't say, hey, look. Peanut butter. <laughs> just literally <laughs> just, he's he's... just put it on. Take her. See. Uh, uh, uh. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Leave just it. Just walk right by me. Sure. Come on. Heel. Heel. And let me see the leash for a second. If you guys like this video, do me a solid favor and support the channel by liking this video and leave a comment in the comments below. This is a dog that the dog needs a lot of work. The handling needs a lot of work and I can't touch the dog. Right now the goal is, is for, for me to safely be able to start working with him. And that's not clearly the, the case right now. So it's just gonna take a little bit of time. We don't get a lot of this. We get it like one out of every 50 dogs. But it's one of those things that it just, it's an ecosystem of the, the cause and the problem being the same thing. And it never gets better or it's hard to get better because you know, it's just, it constantly like loops. It's a forever loop. And he also has had some bad experiences with some past trainers, which I think has really pushed him over the edge. Now you're gonna you're gonna walk towards me with him. Come on, buddy. Come. Good. Ah, 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 ah. It's okay. Sit. Good boy. Good sit. Good. I'm gonna give this to you. You're gonna give it to him. Good. Good boy. Good. Come towards me again. Yep. I'm just gonna give you this. Good job. Good boy. Come on. Good boy, ah, 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 ah. good boy. Just let him be a dog now. Yeah. So you, just don't let him do that. Okay, now walk, walk. Good boy, Tiggs, good job, good. So I'm just, I'm having a hard time with his eyes. His eyes are really, the only thing I don't love. Good, good boy. See how his eyes are yes. still tracking me? It's okay, buddy. Yep, it's okay. If I tell you to call him, call him, okay? Tigger, let's go. Good. Tigger, come. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Tigger, come. Good boy. Ah, uh ah. -uh. No. Come. No. I'm not using the prong collar for that reason, is I'm not correcting him. I'm just, I'm just like, hey man, you can fight me, but, because if you get some muzzle off, then it's a different, okay? Ah, uh ah, -uh. no. Sit. Good. Good boy, Tigger. Tigger, come on. Good boy. Good job. So I'm going to heal him now for the next two minutes. And I want you to listen to the things that I'm saying and how I'm saying it and how often I'm saying it. Okay? So right now, this is perfect. This is, this is success with a dog like this. Good. Tigger, sit. Good. That was one time, right? Tigger, heal. Again, doesn't like me, doesn't like new people. Why? It could be genetics, could be his past experience with the training, which sucked for him. Um, could be relationship with mom, could be so many things. So he's absolutely 100% stressed. He's absolutely not loving me. But my job is to teach the owner on how to handle these situations and how to handle him. Because if I don't 
you know, basically rip the bandit off and say, okay, let's just, I don't like fighting dogs like the way I did. It's the last thing I want to do. But if you can fight him for a little bit to kind of like, okay, man, deflection, deflection, deflection. That's why I used a flat collar when he was coming at me um, because I basically was just holding him back. I wasn't correcting him for that behavior because I think it's warranted. I think it's fair. He doesn't like me. He told me he didn't like me. I took the leash. He's like, well, this is happening. So now this is the, the, the big part, the big missing piece is she has to be able to handle him. So, so we, we're working on all of these different things and it's gonna be very hard because it's very instinctual uh, for people to layer these things in and get rid of old habits. I think it's two things. I think it's because he's stressed out of his mind before he walked in the building, right? Because the long drive, you've, you know, the crying for three hours, it's, it's 80 degrees, like all these things are the things we can't control, right? So there's that and that's inevitable. Some of the other dogs may do better. Some of them came from further distances, but they stayed overnight a day early. Doesn't matter. This is reality. And this is what we're dealing with. And so it's not so much about him liking me because that's not the issue. It's about you being able to fix your relationship so you can control him around the people that he doesn't like. Right now, if you can control him, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, we wouldn't need the muzzle on, you know? But he's looking at me and he's not sitting for you. So he's not gonna not lunge. So it's a process and it's gonna take time. A little bit of a equipment change here. We're just problem solving. He's a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday, I couldn't be next to him without him reacting. Reacted at me once. Um, so we're doing some equipment changes for physical handling, and then we're gonna use the uh, Tom Davis 280C for some of the explosive behavior. Good. Slow down a little bit. Good, and stop and keep. Good. Look forward, there you go, there you go, that's it. You're kind of just floating, that's what you feel like. Just float with him, just, he's with you, slow down and stop. I want to focus more on your relationship with him because that's the reason why he is the way he is. I don't want to focus so much on shutting, shutting things down. I want to be like, if we were to spend 60 minutes together, I want 59 of that to be heel, good heel, sit, ah, uh -uh, sit, okay? And then a little bit of corrections when we, you know, try to eat me. So give him a break and I'll get another dog out, okay? This is where the rubber meets the road here, people. This is where the owner needs to start really taking control because that's where the problem is at. Code is out, real dog distraction, so let's see how we do. So see how locked in he is? Locked. You're gonna have to use your, this is your handling. This is where he's So tell him zone. to leave, so, so a couple things we could start doing. Okay. It's telling him to leave it. Leave it. But, but give him a little correction to Leave it. Leave it, good. Back up and call him. Say come. Come on. Nope, so this is where you have to be very assertive because this is life and death for a dog or a another person. dog in your neighborhood. So I didn't hear you say come on at all, this whole thing. And I then don't. I said call him and you said come on. <laughs> like be, you have to be, remember how I worked her yesterday? Yes. Look how to do this, good, do this, good, do this. Don't flop don't out and half ass like... anything. It's gonna be take her sit, good, cause he is like boom, you have to Really step up. I have to, to be the as plate. intense as he is. You have yes. You have to overcome his intensity. Yes, yes. Take her. Come, ah, ah, come, pop. Right now you're like, please, for the love of God, do something for me, please. You, he will ruin your life if you let him do that. Don't do that. Take her. Sit. Good. Sit. Take her. Come. Good boy. That's where I have to be careful because that's where he's going to come after me. Mm -hmm. So, but you see how I did that? Take your heel. Good heel. Tigger, heel, good heel, buddy. Tigger, sit, good sit. Tigger, heel, good boy. Look how he's behaving now to where he was before. And I am looking at him a lot only because I'm trying to catch him before he tries to get to me. You wouldn't be doing this. Good heel, buddy. Look how close we're getting here. Tigger, sit, good sit. Good job. Tigger, heel, good heel, buddy. Nice work. Heel. Good, sit, good sit, bud, good job. See his capabilities of being able to do everything you want He's to so, do. He, I know, Take he, heel. I know that he can You have to really this. pay attention to what I'm doing in order for this to work. Because the only reason why he's this close and he's this successful is because I'm handling him. So you can't even get half this distance because of your relationship with him, because the lack thereof. Good stay, brand new pit bull out of the gate. Doesn't move, doesn't react, good. Now if I turned into him, he'd come after me, okay? So I want you to call him, because he's really built up right now. Tigger, come. Look it, 
that was very like, like if you said that he to your son, even, he'd he be like, oh, I'm up. in trouble. He didn't even get up. That was very like, you're in trouble. Like if you said that to him, he'd be he, like, what did I do? Yeah, he So it would be, dog, come, right? Just say, hey, do this. So you want me to do it like that? Koda, stay. Yeah. Tigger, come. Better. Say He's it again. Coming. Say his name. Tigger. Come. Come. Now back up. That was better. If you guys like this video or any other piece of content I put out, you guys can join the official No Bad Dog Members Club and support the movement. The link is in the description below. Now, I know on the streets there's going to be a lot more distractions. There's joggers and people, so it's just going to take time for him to be able to... I mean, right now there's just a few people and a dog and we're not in the street. Uh -huh. So you, you feel like if we just kept doing this, eventually all of those distractions are going to be... Not a yes, problem for if him? You, if you do it right. If I do it right. If you do it right. This is what I'm hearing. We've just accomplished more with this dog and with you yeah. than you ever have in your entire life. Now you're saying right back to me, you know, it's not really that realistic. What's going to happen when we're outside walking? We're, we're not even- We're not there yet. We're not even close to having that conversation yet. And you're forgetting about all the things that we've just accomplished and you're never gonna be happy if that's how you're looking at it. No, I'm happy with today. Like you just walking him and him listening to you and following you and sitting and healing was like, I don't know, I was not expecting that, especially like you were saying after yesterday. I want you to just take it day by day. So don't ask him to sit just once. Don't, don't keep telling him and telling him and telling him, okay? Heal him back right here really quick. Heal. Stop and sit. Sit. So pressure up. Sit. Sit. So don't, don't ask him just once. Just once. He is never going to get better if we keep doing that. So don't do that because that's going to freak him out. So just walk with him. Remember we talked about that day one. And that's where he's gonna go Don't do that. That's where he's gonna get so pissed off. When he goes, hey, I don't think I can handle this. Hey, I'm gonna go punch that dog in the face. I'm gonna go bite that person. And you're just as aggravated as he is. You're just stoking that fire. He's doing much better than you are. But if you just met him halfway, you guys would be so much better. But you have to remember, when he starts to build and react, you have to diffuse, right? If somebody came running in right here and said, where's the owner of this place? I ordered pizza and I didn't get it. I'm gonna go fight him. I'm like, screw you, buddy, let's go. Or if I was like, hey man, why don't we come over here and have a conversation away from you know, my clients? You're, you're doing the opposite. He's getting fired up and you're trigger, 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 right? And he's getting pissed. And you're never gonna get better if you keep doing that. Good heel, nice. Ah, ah. Sit. Good. Good heel. Ah, sit. Good. Good sit, Tigger. Loose leash, loose leash. Engagement. No pressure, no pressure. Heel. Verbal. Heel. Nice. Ah, voice check. Sit. Good. Tigger, sit. Good. Stay. Good boy, Tig. Good job, buddy. This is his best work, thousand percent. He didn't come after me. He engaged with me. He loose leash walked me, walk with me for like five minutes. What I really like about what he's showing me is he doesn't like me. He doesn't like this environment. He's stressed, but he was willing to give me a chance to work with him, to help him. So as you get better, he will get better. From Thursday to Saturday morning, he couldn't be around one person. Now he just went into a group class with 10 other dogs and 15 other people, and he did amazing. If you can do that, then you can continue to get better with him. But you, again, you have to remember, because what I'm worried about is I'm, you're here in front of me, and I'm still like, no, no, no to you. And if I'm not there in the next two or four, two to 24 hours, he will go, he will go right back to where he came from. 1,000 bazillion percent. He will be the same dog he was before you came in if you don't assertively make a difference. This was basically our last 
last hope with him, you know, considering the other trainers weren't working and just from watching the videos and seeing the results was just like the deal breaker for us. We knew that this was the place for us. I wanted to be part of this process because I was the one that actually needed to be trained. And I am just so glad that he's able to give us what we need to continue our training to make him a better dog and to give him a better life. I'm gonna follow through with everything and if I need to come back next year and do a refresher, I feel very confident that it will benefit Tigger 100%. I'm here and I'm so happy and I feel very hopeful moving forward with Tigger and I'm just so grateful for everybody that's involved. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to my channels to see more videos just like this.